Hello everybody, welcome to another Hearthstone Daily Quest. Today, we have Priest or Warlock Victory. Win two games with Priest or Warlock for 40 gold. So I'm thinking that I might do one win for each of the classes there. So my Priest deck is two Circle of Healing, two Inner Fire, two Mind Vision, two Northshire Cleric, two Power World, Power Word Shield, Two Divine Spirit, two Light Well, two Mind Blast, two Radiant Elemental, two Shadow Ascendant, two Shadow Word Pain, two Shadow Word Death, one Light Spawn, two Teltolan Shell Razor, two Holy Nova, and one Cabal Shadow Priest. So this one here, it is essentially a little combo deck type situation. Um, it's pretty much just hmm, just realizing that some of these things aren't supposed to be here, maybe. Oh, no, 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 we're all good. I just put that one there in. So it's essentially just try and get a big, tough creature and then double its... Where are we? That one there. Double a minion's health and then use Inner Fire to change its attack to be its health. So this works pretty well with the Light Spawn. Uh, the Tortolan Shell Razor is none too shabby either. Nothing wrong with a 6-6. Six, six. Um, all in all, it does do all right from what I've played with it um, and hopefully we can just be have one big swing in okay so for the warlock deck I think is this one here that's better okay so for the warlock deck we have two blood imp two flame imp two void walker one demon fire two knife juggler two novice engineer two stubborn gastropod two succubus one earthen ring farseer two egg napper one Felguard, two Sense Demons, two Ravenous Pterodax, one Summoning Portal, one Argent Commander, two Sabertooth Stalker, one vol two Volcanosaur, and one Giant Mastodon. So this one here is essentially just throw down demons, try and beat them down nice and early, uh, and use Knife Juggler to just try and ping some things, pretty much. It's nothing, nothing special, but we'll see what we can do here. So I'm going to start off a game with the Priest. And then we can jump straight back in, or straight into it. Not back in, we haven't done anything yet, have we? So there's the priest. Let's go. Okay. Then into game one. Anduin versus Leandre. Okay. My hammer burns with holy fire. The light okay, so. Victory. I definitely like mind vision and radiant oh, elemental. I can see. Hey, I won! <laughs> well, that was very quick. <laughs> oh well, well, we may not be playing the Warlock deck any uh, just yet, but let's try that again. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll actually get a game out of it this time. I certainly don't want to waste the, the waste the challenge. Uh, I quite like this hand. So turn one, I can play the Mind Vision. Turn two, I can play the Radiant Elemental, and then this one here will be free. So I can play that on that to make that nice and tough straight away. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And they've got one of the alternate uh, champions. I can't remember if they're called champions. Actually, I can use the coin to cast that now and cast both of those this turn. That is also quite useful. So I'm going to do that. Let's go that, into that. Let's get a card. Give your other Murlocs plus two health. That is pointless to me, but... Okay. Not a bad turn. Let's see what they've got on here. Oh no, they've done it. Whatever shall I do? That's fine. Okay, so now I can play the... Hmm... Interesting, I can make it a 5-5 five, five this turn. 
Uh, I think I'll do that one there. And I will just swing in for the attack here. Hopefully they can't make that one any bigger. So assuming that it survives the turn, I can make one of these here a 5-5 five five next turn. Oh, I suppose I can still make that one a 5-5 five five next turn. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Now what? Plus one. Well played, well played, I like it. Okay. So. I can... Make this one here a 5-5 five five and then attack that guy there. Or I can deal for, where I suppose I can still do that as well. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to do that. So I'll go 5-5 five five here. Get rid of that now. I can bring back its life completely and I can still deal 5 damage. Now hopefully this guy here survives the turn. It's very possible that they're just gonna make it that they're just gonna be able to pump it up. Pump their one of their one of their Murlocs up to make it down to five power. But not yet. Adapt your Murlocs. Interesting choice. Why not? Okay, that's fine. Okay. So it heals itself, not a problem. With three or less attack. Hmm. So, pretty much guaranteed that this guy here is going to be dying next turn. Just because of this guy here, and nothing else. So I'm pretty happy. Hmm. So I think I should try and kill that. Uh, I think I'll do it with this one here. Uh, by doing that, it brings out the tokens, the uh, the little plants, which next turn allows me to, to just go ahead and kill them all. Uh, so I think I'll just cast that on him. I'll attack for five. Now next turn, more than likely, it's just going to attack me with the Gentle Megasaur here. Which, I uh, would attack this guy here with the Gentle Megasaur, that is. Which is absolutely fine. Because uh, if they trade off, then I cleared it up the board. Uh, in my next turn. And if I'm lucky, they'll even play some other small creatures to get cleared up with it. Hmm, okay. Hmm, it's not the worst thing, it's low power. It does, of course, put down an additional taunt creature eventually. That's okay. Yep, as expected. I'll swing for four, next turn I can clear away almost their entire board. I'm not exactly in the best position. But... What do you got? Another secret, interesting. So, hoping that I, I would imagine that would just be the. Uh, what ones do they have? I think they've got when you attack, it deals two damage to everything, or when you when something attacks, it uh, generates a two one. Or that one, I can deal with that. That's that's not too bad. So I cleared off most of their board, and I am now. True life closer to not death. What have they got? So I'm very happy to play this light spawn next turn. And this cold light seer is absolutely pointless to me. Five or more attacks. So I can't play that one anytime soon. Hmm. So. That dies pretty quickly, unfortunately, but it's about all I've got at the moment, so I'll just do that, I'll play 2 health, or gain 2 health, and we'll just pass the turn. So at the moment they're in a pretty good position here, 
Yeah, they've got the the minions to destroy my big guy. If they want to, they can just attack and let the taunt creatures take a beating for a little while. Where did that one come from? Yep. So they've still got a taunt creature up their sleeve, if I'm not mistaken. Dragon and Murloc from your deck. Ugh, and you're not quite powerful enough for me to use that either. You son of a bitch. Okay, so I can deal 5 damage. So I suppose let's just play that. Deal 5 more damage and I can gain 2 more out of it. Really wish I'd gotten something a little bit better than this guy here. Versing a tribal deck probably wasn't the best idea to put that mind's vision into, but hey. Okay. Okay, now we've at least got a target for this. Is that adapting Murlocs? Okay, now we've got a few targets. Yep, definitely getting rid of that guy there. That is gonna hurt. Well, I can only pretty much guarantee that I've lost this game unless I draw something real fantastic. Right now. Okay, taunt's not too bad. So, I will do that. And I'm going to get rid of this guy here just because it makes that guy big too. And may as well just start getting rid of these guys. So start small, make our way up. So I'm still probably going to be taking nine damage this turn, I'd imagine. Let's see what they can throw down at it. Options. More taunt dudes, and that's still not good. Not good at all. Hmm. <laughs> God damn, I love that Murloc sound. Yep, that's about as expected. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't think I can draw anything that will uh, let me survive this. Well, I can maybe draw a card from that, I don't actually know. Yeah, that was being hopeful. Okay, well that's game. I love the uh, the animated version of the Miller Tide Hunter. It looks really cool. <clears throat> Swing in for the win. Well done, guy. Well done, Mr. Bukumi. Yeah, so that's Bukumi. Okay, well, we'll try one more with the priest and see if we can get that. And uh, otherwise, I'll switch over to the Murloc. Okay. So this will be the last game that I play with the priest, and then we'll try the Merlin, and then we'll see how we go. Liadrin. My hammer burns with holy fire. The light shall bring victory. Hmm. No way. I can see. Well, why the bloody hell not? That was an interesting set of games, but hey, I got it. <laughs> so, uh, so we got the two wins with the priest. Uh, both both through them just just giving up for some reason not entirely sure why but easy 40 gold um, I don't believe that I've got any extra I can't believe, don't believe I can buy any more packs so we'll just head straight to there so I've only got three packs this week uh, all from the frozen throne so we'll just go straight into it what do we got so we have a plague scientist a snow flipper penguin that looks really cute. 
a Nash. There's a rare. Ooh, we got two rares. That's good. First rare is Unwilling Sacrifice, which is a three cost. Choose a friendly minion, destroy it, and a random enemy minion. Hmm. It's kind of. They've got to have something big and only have something big on the field while you've got tokens, which. It's not too bad. It's just. You've got to be. You've got to play it, play it correctly. And the second rare is Bone Drake, which is a six cost, six five. Death Rattle, add a random dragon to your hand. I don't hate that. That's uh, nothing wrong with some card advantage there. Pack number two. Okay, so we have Forge of Souls. Shadow Ascendant. Ooh, I like it. Frozen Clone. Cobalt Scalebane. And our Epic. Epic. For this pack here is Snow Fury Giant, which is an 11 cost, 8-8, eight, eight, which costs one less for each mana crystal you've overloaded this game. That I like, because you put that into an overload deck, you should be getting at least a handful um, before you get even remotely close to this, so you can probably maybe play that deck if you're really lucky on maybe turn 4 or 5, and that's a pretty good turn 4 or 5 turn. Okay, so we'll go to the third and final pack. Just double check what we got there, good. So we got Animated Berserker. Vri... Vrigul? Vragul? Something ghoul. Vragul, sure. Ice Fishing. I, I like that card. Uh, Spell Weaver. And our rare, final one for the day, is Desperate Stand, which is a two cost. Give a random death, give a give a minion death rattle. Return this to life with one health. Uh, it's pretty similar to the uh, to the secret that just does the same thing. It's not too bad. Uh, just essentially just keeps it around for a little bit longer. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, so that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, keep an eye out for Wednesday and Friday. Uh, Wednesday is going to be uh, part two for Outlast. Uh, I've had some fun playing that game already and I wish to continue that. Uh, and Friday this week will be my time with the Destiny 2 beta. Uh, I have played that for maybe two or hour and a half maybe, hour and a half, two hours maybe. And um, I'll just show you pretty much what I did with it. I uh, played some trade played with some friends, did uh, I had to go at the, the introduction mission, the uh, the just the, the deathmatch multiplayer stuff. And also had a go at what I think is a raid, or not a raid, I don't really know what it's called. Uh, never, never played the first one, uh, but it was a co-op mission and that was pretty fun as well. It was actually, a, I enjoyed the game a little bit, but uh, you'll see it on the video on Friday. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time.